For only 20 lakhs, you can get the epitome of performance from Aprilia, Kawasaki or Yamaha. Or you can get this from Indian, the FTR 1200. With the FTR 1200, the Indian motorcycle has stepped into a brand new segment which is meant to appeal to the younger set of audience which finds the dark horse too intimidating for the everyday ride. Though the ride experience was short, it was enough to answer some of our questions like if the FTR 1200S really stands true its to its name and if this is really what younger riders need. That said, the most intimidating bit on the motorcycle is the 4.3 inch right command LCD touchscreen display which supports Bluetooth. First thing first, the model looking screen has a very bright display which offers decent visibility under the full blazing sun. This screen features two display modes that can be easily flicked with the swipe of a finger. The menu is easy to navigate through and the touch is responsive which works with all kinds of riding gloves. Apart from this, the menu can also be navigated using the four-way joystick and buttons on the switch gear. The S version gets a fully adjustable suspension, a 6-axis IMU and an electronics package that includes lean angle sensitive ABS, traction control, stability control and wheelie mitigation system. All that is in addition to three riding modes, rain, standard and sports. Also one of the best thing about it is that the required mods can be selected on the go and you don't have to pull over to make some changes. The Indian FTR 1200 is closer to the European and Japanese naked sports bike in terms of its nature than it is with any of the bikes from the Indian motorcycles or Harley Davidson and in a way it does not feel like you are sitting as straight and Indian. It is brilliantly fresh to ride and astonishingly fast at the same time. It is not only closer to the middleweight naked roadster on the paper but also rides like them. It does not like to hide its wild nature even if you are dialed down to the lowest power mode. And if you think you are experienced enough, it also allows you to use the track mode which turns off the TCS and lets the front we catch some air time. Even with minimal throttle inputs, the engine is always brimming with power, especially in low and mid range. And the bike accelerates fiercely from a standstill with so much force that it leaves you with a scared grin. And why not? It is capable of doing 0 to 100 in just 3.4 seconds, and that's seriously impressive. The engine does boil up if you're riding in the bumper to bumper traffic, but at the same time, its cooling system is efficient enough to deviate all the hot air on the lower side, and your tires remain unaffected. The bike gets a thumbs up for that. Please give me one also. The India FTR 1200S has an aggressive, hunched forward riding position without being too extreme or uncomfortable. The reach to its wide and high set handlebar is just right and the foot pegs are thoughtfully positioned. The Indian FTR 1200 priced at Indian rupees 15.99 lakhs Exorum India is a serious performance motorcycle which is definitely one of the coolest looking bikes we have ever seen in a while. It is for those people who appreciate old school looks with some modern drama and are always brimming with the adrenaline rush to tackle every corner they meet on the road. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. See you next time. Until then, bye bye.